Here's a look at your job of the day featured on CBS 4 News Sunrise every morning and mission. They're looking for a cashier. The pay will be discussed with the employer. Six months of experience is required and McAllen assistant store manager is needed. The pay depends on experience, which you need at least two years of high school diploma or GED is required. And to talk more about the job opportunities in the Valley is Nikki San Miguel at Workforce Solutions. Welcome. Oh, thank you for having me. Always great to have you. And one of the key things that people need when job searching is a resume. Sometimes it can be a little bit confusing of what you should include. So let's talk about those those must haves whenever you're updating your resume. Well, I like to tell people there's there's really there's five must haves. At the very, very top of your resume, you should definitely have your name. Uh, you need your contact information and it needs to be updated. So your, your phone number, your email and your address, especially the email and the phone number. The address, the employer won't really go to your home, but um, it's still good. It's still good to have it there. Secondly is um, an objective statement. You want the employer to know why you're submitting your resume, what it is that you're interested in. Um, good example is um, I'm interested in a full-time position with an employer that's willing to utilize my skills, my knowledge, things like that. You want you, but you do want an objective statement. The next down uh, you'll see on your screen is uh, your work history. Most people will list their work history uh, 2009, 2010, 2011. Right. One thing that you want to make sure to do is you always put your recent your most recent job or the job that you're working right at now top. at the top yeah. and then you work your way back. Um, most people, some people don't know that, but um, that's how the employee, it's easier for the employer that way. And if you're already like out of college and everything, you don't need to feature a job that you worked in college if you already have that um, out of college work experience. Exactly, exactly. You don't need a list. I mean, really you can go as maybe 10 years back, but right. It depends on your it depends on your work history and, and what the position is that you're applying for. Um, next on the list is actually your computer skills. It is always so great to enter your computer skills because nowadays employers it's very it's it's very rare that employers don't have some sort of technology, some sort of computer right. systems where you either have to clock in or you're you're typing out emails, whatever the case may be. You're constantly using computers, so you really want to um, enter that you have computer skills. Definitely. And last but not least is uh, your internship. Uh, your internships and any sort of volunteer work. Um, now this, this especially um, if you don't have a lot of experience, if this is your first or your second job that you're applying to and you don't have a lot, those are transferable skills. A lot of that volunteer work, you there know, you um, that's, that's considered work history with some employers because they do have transferable skills. So there it's go. good to put that on there as you, well. You want to sell yourself. Okay, well there's the tips and now there's two hiring events that are coming up just in the next few days that you can attend. Right, so we actually have Rodeo Dental and Orthodontics. They will be at the Edinburgh Workforce Solutions office uh, tomorrow. They will be there from 11 a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. They are seeking educators, receptionists, dental assistants, and custodians. Um, this is for a new location in the Edinburgh area. And like I said, this is going on tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. at the Edinburgh Workforce Solutions office. Also going on at the Edinburgh Workforce Solutions office, Infinity Auto Insurance will be there on Friday, February 10th from 9 a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. They are seeking bilingual claim adjusters. Uh, the pay is $11.70 per hour, and they are seeking a high school diploma and at least one year of experience in customer service or in claims adjusting. Perfect. There you have it. There's all the information. Thank you so much, Nikki, for thank joining us. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for having me.